Hey there, Looking Refers, and hello again. Um, I would like to check up on you, so to speak, because I would very much like to know how you're doing, how you're faring through this uh, surreal situation that we're all living through these days. And I would also like to tell you a little bit about how I'm doing and uh, what I'm planning and some ideas that I have. Um, because we have a lot of time to think, right? So I'm doing my best to focus on ideas and lick and riff and creation. So before we even get to guitar stuff and uh, checking on you and checking on me, um, I would very much like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your heartfelt emails and comments that you keep leaving all over Lick and Riff. It, it warms my heart to know that during this crisis I can be any source for good. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't know how much it means to me. Uh, okay, so I gave you a project. I gave you a project. Remember a month ago um, when I made the A Personal Word video? I gave you a project and um, I took this project on myself as well. I told you this is a perfect time. There would probably never be a better time to focus on your playing, on your guitar, on your skills. This is a perfect time to just immerse yourself in the music. And you can choose any goal you want, any goal. Goals help us get through the days. And uh, they help us um, look forward to tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Um, choose any goal, um, any skill that you want to develop, any arrangement that you want to learn, okay? And I took it upon myself. I initially thought that I would uh, return to the electric guitar and go back to playing electric guitar, but my heart obviously wanted, obviously, obvious to me, um, wanted something different. Um, I'm gonna show you what this is in a second, but I want to tell you something a little bit embarrassing first. I have on my computer a folder that's been with me for um, over a decade now that's been with me through different computers um, and it's my procrastination folder. I, I, every, every couple of years I just added new jazz pieces that I wanted to learn and transcribe over the years including pieces that I've first uh, listened to almost 20 years ago when I was in high school. So um, I thought, hey, this is a great time to stop procrastinating, okay? Um, I think I broke a procrastination record with this uh, folder. So that's what I did. I started transcribing those pieces that I so wanted to learn and kept procrastinating and kept postponing it. Um, so... This is the result, and this is not me showing off. This is me showing you what's possible if you just commit yourself to a goal and work slowly, day by day, baby steps, little by little. Just invest two hours, an hour, half an hour, 10 minutes. Just transcribe one line, one lick, one chord progression, and eventually it accumulates and you get this. And these are my transcriptions so far. I, I've gone through half the folder right now. There, there were about 40 pieces there. Now I have about 22 left. And these, I want to show you, these are my transcriptions. The, the, the transcriptions that I've made. You see, the, just, I, I, I haven't memorized any of it yet. They, I haven't memorized any of it yet. I'm just transcribing. And even just transcribing, I can feel myself getting better with understanding jazz because that's my goal right now. I want to be a better jazz player and I want to understand jazz better. And I can see, I can clearly see my strong spots and my weak spots. I'm at that, that point where it's chaotic. I can understand the theory behind what I'm, what I'm transcribing. It's no longer gibberish. I can understand the logic behind most of it. But, you know, it's, it's just floating around in my head right now and it's chaotic and, and I, I, I don't feel confident in my jazz playing at all yet. But I'm getting there and I wouldn't have gotten there. These transcriptions would never have existed, okay? I can tell you, I can admit, it, they would have never existed without this lockdown, without this crisis. 
So, so do it. Immerse yourself in, in the music. This is the time to do it. Okay, focus on something good. Focus on yourself. Focus on your skills. Focus on your music. Okay, uh, so this is my example. This is me practicing what I preach. Um, so I want you to tell me what your projects are. I want you to tell me in the comment section. I want you to tell me what you focus on these days. What you're playing these days. Okay, maybe you'll inspire me to learn something new as well. Maybe you'll inspire me to make lick and riff lessons based on what you're learning these days uh, so others can benefit as well. Um, so that's uh, how I'm doing and I would like to hear how you're doing. And I have a couple of ideas uh, that I want to run by you. Um, but first I would, I would like to address something. Um, I, I've received more than a few emails uh, telling me that some of you have lost your jobs, unfortunately, and that you find yourself in a, in a bad financial situation and you're, you keep asking me for how long I'm going to keep the low prices on my courses. And as I said in the previous video, I'm going to keep the low prices for as long as necessary. Okay, There's absolutely no rush. If you can't afford them right now, I'm going to keep the low prices for as long as this crisis lasts. Okay, I want the courses to be your project if, if you'd like to focus on my courses and if you find yourself in a bad situation right now, there's absolutely no rush and you can email me and, and everything's fine, okay? You can email me lickandref at gmail.com if you need anything from me, okay? Don't hesitate, okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, now that that's out of the way, um, my ideas. Uh, um, I would like to, to first inform you that I'm working on the next giveaways. Okay, um, I have several giveaways uh, in the works. I'm working out the, the details with several companies. Um, and I want to run an idea by you because you've been uh, repeatedly asking me why I don't make videos of myself just playing so you can listen to me playing. You have a playlist of myself playing. Um, the answer is I prefer to invest my time in creation, in creating lessons, in creating arrangements, in improvising, in working on my own skills so I can teach you those skills. Um, I don't like recording so much. I don't like to practice uh, fixed pieces so much. And you can see that in, in the way I'm recording the demonstrations for the arrangement videos. I don't like recording. I, I do as many takes as possible. Then if I like one take, I take it. If I like several takes, then I combine them together uh, to create the best sounding take. Um, uh, recording stresses me out. Um, it, it, I, I become judgmental when I record. I become overly judgmental and then I make silly mistakes and I just don't like recording so much. But having said that, um, I would like to accommodate you and if you really, really want me to, I can start figuring out a way to record myself playing. Um, tell me what you prefer. I can do live shows on Lick and Riff. I can do live streams uh, where you can throw ideas at me and then I can start improvising and compose things for you on the spot. And I can record. Uh, I can figure out a way to record myself playing uh, my arrangements, improvisations, compositions and upload them. Now, I would like you to tell me if this is a silly idea or if this is a good idea. Um, I don't want to flood Lick and Riff with videos of me playing, so I thought maybe I'd create a new channel uh, with just myself playing, okay? A new channel just for recording. Um, but if you don't mind them being here on Lick and Riff, then tell me and I'll upload them here and create a playlist. Um, that would require strategic thinking on my part on, on how to upload them without uh, flooding your homepage. But tell me what you think. Maybe you'll have better ideas for me uh, on this subject. So I'm open to any ideas. Okay, so um, to summarize, okay, because this, is, this has become a long video, longer than I, than I anticipated. Um, so project, okay, tell me about your project. I'll keep updating you on mine um, and uh, stay safe, stay safe. 
okay? Take care of your loved ones, of your pets, okay? Keep in contact, talk to your parents, okay? They're probably very scared during these times, okay? Talk to them uh, and, and take good care of them, okay, mentally. That's really, really important. And take care of yourselves mentally, okay? Instead of committing ourselves to a psych ward, being lonely and isolated, commit yourself to a project, to something good, okay? Please, I implore you, stay safe and stay creative, okay? And if you need anything from me, you know where to find me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next lesson.